Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Town Lake YMCA. We're in the yoga studio where I've been teaching classes since 2010. I'm coming up on my 10 year anniversary here in May. Um, uh, my heart is in two places right now. Um, it's full. I'm just glad to be in this space where I've been teaching and generating um, community for so long. And then um, I also feel the heaviness of this moment. So um, I feel like our job right now in the world is to hold those two things at once. It's so beautiful to have spent all of this time together making meaning collectively. And now here we are in a moment where we have to do some of that on, their, on our own. So um, in my own home practice, I've just been thinking about maybe that uh, that mantra like inch by inch. How small can I start? How slowly can I go? Um, and how deeply can I sort of hold all these things that are confounding and confusing to me all at once? Um, so uh, to that end, I'm just going to guide us for a little bit through a practice. Um, I hope it's useful to you. Um, and I hope that you are staying safe and, um, and, and you're finding certain tiny little pieces of comfort during this time that's really, really challenging for all of us. So um, to begin, I think I'm gonna guide us through a little bit of yoga Pilates combined and um, uh, see where that gets us. Okay, so let's start now just by bringing your feet together. Oh, and it might be useful to close your eyes for just a moment and just feel where your weight is in your feet. And see if you can put a little bit of weight in your heels and then feel the top of your head float over your heels so we're just growing a little bit taller as we're standing here. Good, and maybe there's a little lift in your chest. And maybe there's a little deepening through the diaphragm so you can feel yourself breathe for just one moment. If it's useful for you to put your hands here on your abdomen, just to feel the breath moving in and out, I highly recommend those little tactile cues. And then from there, you can bring your right hand to your left ribs and just feel yourself wrap and pull in, letting the rib cage move towards the medial line. Left hand to the right ribs, just wrapping, pulling in. Good. Letting your tailbone drop down so your weight is grounding through your feet. The glutes are holding your torso up. And then let's go ahead and take a moment to roll the shoulders, allowing your shoulders to come up, down, and back. Arriba, abajo, atrás. Good. And then un ratito giramos el cuello. You can turn your neck side to side. Bueno, y subimos el mentón, la cabeza, arriba y abajo. Just lifting the head down and up. Muy bien, desde aquí las palmas juntas. So we'll go ahead and bring our palms together before the heart and take a moment to just move the thighs. Movemos los muslos atrás. So you're gonna move your thighs back and then we're gonna pull our codos al lado de las costillas. So you'll pull your elbows up sobre las rodillas and then elbows in al lado de las costillas. Good. So let's just take that flow just a few times, remembering uh, you are always in control of your range of motion. So if something is needing to be smaller or slower, take time to do that. From here, it might feel nice to just let the thighs move back for a moment. Good. And allow the arms to float up. Good. And then from here, bajamos, you're going to pull your shoulder blades together behind you. Good. And otra vez, 
movemos aquí la cabeza. You're going to keep the head nice and relaxed. Desde aquí ponemos las manos en los muslos. So, putting the hands here on your thighs for a moment. Abrimos el pecho. Y después movemos la cabeza en la dirección de las costillas, de las rodillas. So, here we go. Up, 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 up. And then bajamos. So, we'll go arriba. Good. Y abajo. Muy bien. Dos más, so we'll try that two more times. Arriba y abajo. Good. And now from here, just una pausa. So take just a pause for a moment, continuing to ground your weight in your feet. And then exhale, subimos. Muy bien. So from here, let's just take a moment or two to estirar los brazos. So you're going to stretch the arms out. Good. And again, feeling los abdominales adentro, your abdominals in. Good. Y giramos la dirección, so you're going to change the direction your arms are floating. Good. Oh. It always feels good to move. So, ayuda para mover, ¿verdad? So now from here, let's drop your right arm alongside the thigh. And then estiramos por el brazo arriba. Good, so stretch to the top arm. Muy bien, y desde aquí, cambiamos lados. You're going to place your left hand here on the right thigh. Y otra vez estiramos sobre el lado izquierdo. Muy bien. Desde aquí, los dos brazos juntos, las palmas juntas detrás de la de la espalda. So you'll bring your palms together behind your back and then doblamos otra vez. So lowering your head. And again, still, vamos a sentir el peso del cuerpo en los pies. So you're going to feel the weight of your body grounded in your feet. Muy bien. Desde aquí, un poco de baile. So I think mejor que podemos relajar un poquito y movemos todo. So I always think there's this relationship between um, being in control and being relaxed and being mindful and being playful. So take a moment to, you know, as my dentist says, floss every day. Uh, nothing is quite as therapeutic as the floss. And so now, go ahead and make sure you throw a little party with your tailbone, taking it all the way around in otra dirección. Good. And then from there, see if you can just draw figure eights with your tailbone, el coccyx in español. <sighs> oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever needed a deeper breath. All right, so now let's go ahead. We're gonna move to the top of the mat just a little and um, start seeing what happens when we move our feet apart. So begin by bringing your palms right in front of your chest. And then on an exhale, step the left foot back as you extend the two arms forward and then pull right in. So los dos brazos adelante y el pie, de, pie derecho atrás. So this is sort of like um, yoga swing dancing, right? You're going to extend one leg behind you as the two arms come forward. Super bien. Good. And then desde aquí, let's leave that left foot back behind you for just a moment. And if it feels nice, take a little weight into the back foot. And you can bring the arms up. Take your gaze to your thumbs a los pulgares. Muy bien, and desde aquí, let's just put your hands here on la espalda inferior. So bring your hands here to your low back for just a moment. And nos ponemos el peso del cuerpo. You're going to put the weight of your body in your right foot. And then from here, nos ponemos, bueno, todo, todo, todo aquí. And if you like, just stretch the left thigh up towards the sky. So we're aiming sort of for a right angle between the two thighs, dos muslos. 
Good. And then from here, let's put that foot all the way back down. And then doblamos por el torso. So you're going to let your torso begin that floating all the way down. Good. Just a couple big breaths here to stretch. Para este edad, los femorales, to stretch your hamstrings. And then to come up, remember, lead with your head. So your whole spine gets a super good stretch. All right, and now from here, this left foot, step it forward. Y bailamos otra vez. You gotta dance again like no one is watching. Not even the internet is watching. Good. And make sure you get a little backstroke in there because who knows when we're going to Barton Springs again. All right, so now from here, we're going to take that sequence other side. So begin this time pushing your right leg back as you extend the two arms forward and then otra vez adentro. So afuera with the left leg, out with the left leg, in with everything. So right leg y adentro. Y afuera, izquierdo y adentro. Afuera derecha y izquierdo. Muy bien. Ultima vez. Good. So now pause here. <sighs> Take a breath. And then your back toes. You're going to let them melt down towards the floor. And then the ball of the foot. And then the heel. Dos brazos. Arriba. And then again, you can take your gaze, your vista, your drishti to your pulgares, to your thumbs. Muy bien. Y desde aquí nos ponemos las manos en la espalda inferior. So you're going to put your hands on your low back. And then esteramos un poco aquí. Y I want you to play. Find the weight of your body in your left foot by lifting the heel. Lowering the heel, lifting the ball of the foot, lowering the foot, and then when your left foot says yes, and only when your left foot dice sí, sí, yo quiero, put your weight there and lift your right back leg up arriba. Good. Esterando aquí un ratito. Muy bien, and then from here, once again, let's bajamos el, la pierna derecha, so you're going to lower the right leg, and then inspirar, so inhale up, y desde aquí, expira, bajando, bajando, bajando. Muy bien, esterrando sobre la pierna izquierda. Good, so you're stretching over your left leg. Esterrando por los dedos. Stretching through the toes. Y todo, todo eso. Good. So now from here, inspirar, mirando arriba. Y expirar los dos pies juntos. Y otra vez bailamos, bailamos. So once again, uh, take a little moment just to dance. And to experience your own uh, notion of levity. Can we put a little lightness in it? Okay, all right. So now uh, I say let's twist a little so you can wring it out. So we'll begin our twisting just um, the old-fashioned way like you do on the dance floor. Bailamos, bailamos por las costillas. Remembering that your twist happens through your ribs, right? to engage your obliques, right? And to not be too disruptive to your low back. Super, super bien. Twist, twist, twist. Gira, gira, gira. Okay, so now from here, we're gonna think about putting that twist into your Utkatasana, the chair pose. So, nos traemos las palmas juntas. You'll bring your palms together. Manos arriba. Good, and then desde aquí, so you're going to bring your left elbow to your right thigh. Eso. Good, so now you're going to bring your right elbow in Spanish, your codo, to your left thigh. Thigh in Spanish is muslo. So let's try this a few times, and again, every time you lift, la vista en los pulgares. So you're going to take your gaze to your thumbs, right? If 
So if this isn't working for you, it's totally acceptable to just do one part of this exercise, either just twisting on top, así, así, or taking just a little fold of the thighs back. Good. Inhale, stretch, reach, bring the left elbow to the right thigh, and then arriba otra vez. Muy, muy, muy bien. Okay. So now we're going to try something that is tiny but can feel a little advanced. So you're going to bring your left elbow to the right thigh and then for a moment lift just your left heel by itself. Good. And if that's going well, lift the ball of the foot. And if that's going okay, let the toes come off of the floor for just a momentito. And then nos ponemos El pie bajo, so then you'll put the foot right back down, and then just that key, subimos otra vez. And now your right elbow to your left muslo. So see if you can take that right elbow down. And remember, we're twisting through the rib cage, por las costillas. So in Spanish, costillas are your ribs. Now you can raise your right heel. Your the uh, talón derecho, and then la planta del pie, the ball of the foot. Y ahora los dedos. Count with me: cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Muy bien. Inspirar. In case you can't tell, this yoga sequence is like the Sesame Street of yoga and Pilates. So we're going to work on our Spanish. Mientras, mientras. Haciendo yoga, also while we're doing yoga. Okay, so now I think it's time to let the arm go one way. Good, hips go opposite direction. Good, relajando un poquito. So it's a good idea to take a little moment in between sequences that challenge you. Okie dokie, smoky, inhale, bring los brazos arriba. So you're bringing the arms up, and then desde aquí vamos a doblar, you're going to fold, and then mira arriba, nos miramos arriba, you can lift your little dedos. So this is a fun thing to remember in Spanish, your dedos are dedos de la mano, so those are your fingers, and then dedos del pie are your toes. Dedos de la mano, dedos del pie. Good. And then from there, let's put both hands down. And then on an exhale, folding at your thighs. Let's let your right leg move back. Good. And then from here, so remember, anything is possible. Everything is optional, right? So don't feel like there's anything you have to do. Um, if you'd like now, go ahead, bring your palmas, bring your hands up from the floor. And then from here, we'll look all the way up. Good, taking a couple big, full deep breaths and a high lunge. Can be like, hi, lunge. Hello, how are you? Good, and then let's go ahead and add on to this. You're going to bring your right elbow, your codo derecho al muslo izquierdo. You can bring your... Right elbow to your left thigh. Good. If again, your thigh says yes. Good. Then from here, I challenge you to plant the back heel all the way down, right? So this is going to help us stretch the Achilles, your calf, your calf in Spanish, la pantorilla. And then from here, let's go ahead and take a nice full stretch forward. You can take your left hand to the inner, I'm sorry, this is your right hand, right hand to your inner thigh, slide down the leg any amount that feels safe. So opposite hand to leg, left hand on the outside of the hip, and then from here, giramos otra vez. So you're going to take another little stretch to the left. And again, thinking, esterramos por las costillas, you're always stretching Twisting through the ribs. Okie dokie. So desde aquí, let's put our two hands down. And then from here, let's go through some options. So this front foot, we can step back into 
Adho Mukha Svavasana, down dog. Good, so remember you're gonna down dog siempre. We're gonna push through the hands, get soft through the elbows, reach back through the shoulders, and then melt the top of the head. So, la cabeza abajo, la cola arriba. So your tailbone up, your head down. Super bien. And then from here, if you like, just take some cha-cha steps all the way back to the front of the mat. Muy bien, desde aquí bailamos otra vez. Shake it out, shake it up, shake it off. Y lo haremos otro lado. So we're gonna do it on the other side. So now, los brazos arriba otra vez. Good, and then desde aquí, la cabeza abajo. Remember, when you forward bend, you don't want your weight to hang back in the heels, but take a little micro bend, lift the thighs up by using the quadriceps. When you lift your thighs that way, the hamstrings do their thing. They really get a good stretch. Bueno, desde aquí bajamos la cabeza. So let your head go all the way, completamente abajo. Good. And then from here, inspirar, mira arriba, we can look up. Dedos de la mano, dedos del pie, dedos de la mano, dedos del pie. And then from here, nos ponemos las manos abajo. So now you're going to um, take your hands, place them down, and then usamos an exhale. You're going to use a little exhale to lower your left leg para bajar la pierna izquierda. Desde aquí, remember, you all, um, you always really, really, really want to control each little micro movement in your yoga practice. So, if I can lift my fingers, awesome. And now bring my codos, your elbows, in. Good. And now lift your shoulders sobre your cadera, ¿verdad? So now shoulders over the hips and then again your arms up for a moment. Very nice. I'm saying very nice to myself and to you imaginary people in my mind. So now from here, take your left elbow to your right thigh. So, codo izquierdo al muslo derecho. And then bring that shoulder back. Okay. So desde aquí vamos a subir otra vez. We're going to lift right back up and then set the left foot down. Extend your two brazos arriba, your two arms up. And then you're going to bring the left mano, your left hand to the inner right thigh as you lower all the way down, reaching your right hand first to the hip. Good. And then once you can really feel yourself twist through the ribs, Go there. Good. Big long. Estira, estira, estira. Good. Now, desde aquí, we're going to bring both hands right down. And then the front foot, pasamos atrás. You're going to step that foot back. Good. Oh, voila. Where are we? It's a plank pose. Oh, my goodness. Here we are. We've arrived at a plank. So can we talk for just a moment about what makes a plank awesome? You're gonna reach the heels back, lift up to the kneecaps, take the tailbone down, your abdominales adentro, your chest open, your head up. Eso. So make it the best plank that ever happened. And then from here, vamos a subir la cadera otra vez, lift the hips, lift the tail, and then if it feels like it's time, take a second to really stretch your heels, los talones, away from your toes. Afuera de los dedos. ¿Sabes? Good. Okay, otra little thing you could try if you wanted to be fancy right here, right now. You can lift the left hand. So you all, I always try to do these tiny little movements in like my down dog, for example, so just lifting one hand an inch, setting it down, lifting my left hand an inch, right foot an inch, left foot an inch, 
just so you get a sense of how and where you're holding your weight. So now if you can, take your left hand to your right thigh, reach that weight back, and then you can stretch down your right leg. Okay, and then we'll put the left hand right back down, right hand arriba. So you're gonna place the right hand on your left thigh and just reach that weight back. Again, melting the top of the head. Bajando la cabeza. Super bien. And now from here, right foot pulls in, left foot pulls in. And then you are, we are all sort of, um, in charge of our own destiny here. So I want you to find a comfortable, safe, practical, reasonable journey down to the mat. So um, let's let, the, this is my way. You go your way. I'm gonna let my sitting bones, in Spanish, your sitting bones are called your isquillones. Isquillones. And we're gonna sit for just a moment on our isquillones, right? And while I'm letting other people find their way down to the floor, I'm gonna fix my hair. All right, I'm sure it looks amazing now. Okay, so let's bring our manos afuera. You're gonna bring the arms, brazos afuera. Bring them out. And then take a second, if you can, to bring your weight right over your two sitting bones, your isquillones. A good way to find them is to let your weight shift to one side and then to the other side. So we'll go lado y lado aquí. And then from here, vamos a bajar. So um, in order to make this about your abdominals, you really want to focus on the front of the rib cage, allowing the rib cage to lead the way as you come down. So los brazos arriba, manos arriba, y ahora bajamos. Now we're lowering down and your energy, you're really putting your mind right here in the abdomen. Let's do dos más. Okay, doki. All right, exhaling down. Good, so now if this feels safe, let's just take your right elbow and reach all the way back, opening your chest. Good, and then from here, cerramos. Y arriba otra vez. Good, so now bajamos y el brazo izquierdo giramos. Atras. So you're going to take the left arm back. Good. And then desde aquí al centro otra vez. So now inhale, open the arms, open the legs so the kneecaps are, are open. Good. Your talones, your heels together. And now from here, giramos otra vez a la derecha, but with your hips relaxed. Good. Knees open. And now from here, otra vez a la izquierda. So you're going to take that little twist to the left. Good. Okay. And then bajamos one more time. Lift the right leg up. And then if it feels safe and it feels good, extend the right thigh out. And you can just take 10 little lifts. So count these with me. I know everyone can go 10, 9, 8, 7. Seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Muy bien. Bajamos. So you're lowering the leg, lifting the chest, and then bringing your brazos adelante. Desde aquí, bajamos otra vez. And you're going to stretch the left leg out. So you want to feel yourself here lift from the inner thigh. It's diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, Cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Muy bien. So you're going to lower that back down, sitting all the way up nice and tall, bringing your arms right in front of you. Hold the two, pull your ribs in, let the thighs lift, and then take the two legs together down and up. Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, Dos, uno. Good. So now from here, put the two feet down. Inhale, stretch, reach the arms up. And then here's a tricky thing. So every time we change planes, right, that's a transition. So you've got to find your 
safe way down to the mat. This is the thing I'm gonna do. You can try it with me. Or you just find your own way. So we'll take about 10 seconds to make it to the floor. So here we go. I'm gonna inhale and then exhale, lower down 10, lower down nine, lower down eight, lower down seven, lower down six. So again, you can go this way with me, drawing the navel in and letting the bones of the back come to the floor, or you find your way down three and two, and one, good. So now from here, we're gonna try just a couple of little roll-ups. So you can let the thumbs float overhead, las manos arriba otra vez, and then use an exhale to lift the head. Now use an exhale to lift the shoulders. Use an exhale to lift the shoulder blades, your clavicula. Now use an exhale to lift the rib cage the lumbar, and then the sacrum and tailbone come floating up also. Good. So now let's lower that back down. Um, this time, well, let's draw the heels together and open the palms. So we're going to lower to the mat with the palms lifted. Remember, you're going to balance um, little golden eggs here in your palms. So opening 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 the chest while you reach the thumbs away from your pinkies okay so desde aquí bajamos otra vez we're gonna lower all the way back down cinco y cuatro y tres y dos y uno so you're gonna let the head be the last thing to come down and then from here stretch the arms out enjoy for just a moment a Y shape with the arms. And then take a breath and make an M shape, letting the fingertips come down towards the top of your head. And now let the right arm float to your side, making a C. And then a little A here. Super bien. This one. This roll up is for the love of the YMCA. So here we go, lifting the head. Lifting the shoulders, lifting the shoulder blades, the rib cage, the lumbar. Letting your tailbone be the last thing that rises up. Good. Bajamos otra vez. We're going to lower again, but maybe try it with your arms all the way out. If you're feeling fancy, if you're feeling unfancy, just bring the arms right back in. Or if you have limited space. Um, so now sitting up nice and tall, bajamos. You're going to lower down by letting the tailbone reach towards the heels and then start bringing the bones of the back down to the mat. Hueso por hueso por hueso por hueso. So you're letting it all float down. All right, Y, M. And now we're gonna make a C with the left arm floating down just to make sure we're completely balanced here. And then an A, good. So now we'll bring our fingers, los deditos juntos, bring your fingertips together, hands back behind the head, desde aquí, so from here, pull your tailbone towards the heels, your ombligo, your ombligo, wish, oh, Margarita, if you watch this, I wish you were here to correct my Spanish. And then desde aquí, subimos un poquito, so you're gonna lift your head all the way up, and now lift the right leg, Y hacemos círculos. You're going to make five circles with your right leg. Y hacemos otra dirección. Bring five circles towards the midline of the body. Super bien. And now la pierna izquierda, your left leg, you're going to circle. Three, dos, uno. Muy bien. Circulamos otra dirección. Tres, dos, Uno. Okay, so now lower your two legs, lift the head and chest, just a hair more for the love of trunk flexion right here. Using the abdomen to lift the head, your very heavy head, your cabeza, and your neck, your cuello. Good. And then desde aquí, bajamos. So now you're going to pull the right foot in, left foot in. We'll make these last, these things, the last couple of things we'll do because I know we're all exhausted. 
And then from here, I want you to keep your heels together, toes apart, let the thighs lift up as the arms open up. And then bajamos otra vez, let your fingertips float towards each other. And then once again, subimos la cadera, lift the pelvis, and then bring your elbows into your sides. Exhale, let's do that one more time. Inhaling up, and shoulder blades pulling together, your neck totalmente relajado, your neck totally relaxed. And then if it feels nice, lift the heels for a ratito. Lift the sitting bones a hair higher, feeling that deeper conexión por los femorales, that deeper connection through the hamstrings. Now lowering the heels. Y bajamos la espalda, lower the back otra vez. And now try just with your heels and toes together this time. And you can bring your palms over the chest. Good, so now we'll exhale, lift the pelvis, let the arms float alongside the ears. Good, again, your neck totally relaxed. <sighs> you know, it is recommended um, for times when you're feeling really depressed, uh, back bends can be useful. So back bend is just like this, this simple thing, lifting your um, uh, back into an arched position and it lifts the lungs and the heart. And then likewise, if you're feeling um, uh, anxious, forward bends can be really useful for that. So any kind of forward bend that either brings, say for example, your knees over your chest, Maybe your, uh, this one is called Supta Pare Mustasana, letting the shin bones come a little closer to the face. But this kind of offers a little sensory withdrawal. And it can be really good for calming nerves and anxiety. Another really good way to work on that is just balance. So standing on one leg from time to time. All right, we've come to that time for Shavasana. So go ahead and let your heels fall in and your toes fall out. And you can close your eyes. and start thinking about your own breathing. Just bring your attention to your breathing. La respiración. Which is sometimes just the only thing that we have access to. So I want you to think about taking a breath really low into the abdomen, and then allowing it to relax. Now taking a breath really wide into the ribs. And allowing that to relax. And now taking a breath into the lung and heart space. Feeling that whole area expand. And then relax. Then we're going to put those three breaths together. So breathing low, inhale, hold, into the ribs, hold, into the chest and lungs, hold, and then let it all go. Try that a couple more times. Sometimes it's helpful to place your hand on the eyes. Just to give yourself a little bit more space. Just an opportunity to go a little bit deeper.
up to your next big inhale and exhale. You can take your fingertips here into your scalp. And just gently massage your temples. Massage behind your jaw. It might feel nice to cross the arms. And rub the back of the neck. And then find a comfortable way into a seated position, maybe bending the knees, roll into the right side, using the strength of the arms to press up. And we'll bring the palms together before the heart. Bow the head, bajamos la cabeza. Nos ponemos las palmas juntas. Bring our palms together. Friends, mis amigos, amigas, todo el mundo, tu práctica es un regalo. Your practice is a gift. Thank you. Gracias. Y namaste.